So for today, we're going to be looking at the exotic ornaments for the hunters. I do apologize that this video was a lot longer than expected. That being said, I still have to do the shader videos as well, but I appreciate you guys waiting for these. If you guys have been waiting for these, I have made a few sets with a lot of the new ornaments that we've gotten just because I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I already have like sets of like already ready for when these ornaments come out for sale because i am absolutely just loving all of the ornaments aside from maybe the warlock ones i think one of them's pretty cool the other one's kind of boring looking but we'll get to that when we get to that um quick note uh before i talk about what i actually want to talk about which is going to be a side tangent to something i mentioned in a previous video but if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because i do think i push out a lot of content and it is worth your subscription and the bell notification obviously but i really appreciate it because uh it, without you guys this channel would be nothing so i really honestly appreciate you all so that being said um for those of you who watched a certain video um in a certain portion i don't remember which video it was and i wish it well i could look it up if i, re if I really wanted to but for those who don't know i ended up mentioning that my cat was missing i think like a while ago and for for us it was a month ago and then i mentioned it like within two weeks in me recording and the reason i bring up my cat is because for those of you who are who sent me those messages i really do appreciate it because we actually found my cat um specifically my girlfriend found my cat and uh she ended up calling me telling me to come outside and we found him we brought him back in he's really really skinny he hasn't he's kind of nervous but it's more of a just he's been out for a month and thankfully hopefully i have some pictures up of him right now but thankfully he's back right now he's sleeping on my desk and i don't want to get too emotional because uh i don't want to like have this video be about my cat because it really isn't it's about <laughs> hunter ornaments but for those of you who sent me the messages who don't, even if you didn't send a message if you were like oh i hope it's okay or sent sent a prayer i really appreciate it because i was i was kind of broken with, when my cat was missing i kind of shut down and it was pretty bad so having him back is really great so i appreciate it um yeah for those of you who are just concerned i i really appreciate it other than that let's get into the video so to start off, we're going to be talking about Assassin's Cow's new ornament, Armory Exhibition. I love this ornament. I think it's one of the best ornaments for a night look ever. Um, if you are interested, the Armory Exhibition got a legendary ornament. It looks really, really cool. Hopefully I have a picture up right now. If not, I do apologize. I should be able to, but if not, it's really cool. I will be making sets with it because I will be getting it in the future. I mean, I still have time. This season's still like two years long. But uh, I will be making sets with it just because I think that that ornament is just spicy good. But for this ornament, let's actually look at how it shaders because I think it shaders beautifully. Like I've seen some really terrible shader shadering for certain armor pieces. This one takes shaders like almost like beautifully to the point where I actually really, really love it and appreciate it. For example, for me, probably the best shader will be Cryptic Insignia just because um, you guys will notice that a, there's a lot of white in there, but there's also so like a black, like a, a textured black as well, like a leathery black, which is really cool. You see the ornaments of the sides, the chains, they're all that like off color of that like blue chrome, which is super dope. And then the chain mail is actually silver. So there's so many colors where I'm like, this is looking so beautiful to the point where I actually, whoever designed it and whoever made sure it takes shader as well, i really appreciate it because without it i'd be really mad as for the example set i'm gonna be honest with you guys i switched it out here and there but this is like the best one so far for this one we're gonna be using the white wolf grips and the white wolf strides i feel like both of these look really really well the only annoyance i could say i have with it is the fact that it's not symmetrical technically and i say technically because it has a crossbow on the right side it's such a minor thing that like for me, it doesn't bug me, but I have to mention it just in case some people are like super anal about it. For the chest piece, Unyielding Favor Vest, and then for the cloak, we're using Ephrodite's Iron Cloak. So let me explain why I'm using Dreaming Spectrum, even though at this point, I feel like it's my channel's like main colors, which we'll talk about that too. <laughs> Speak like main colors for my channel, because I feel like I found my main color channel or my channel's main colors, but I don't think I have it in a shader, which is a problem. But the reason we're using Dreaming Spectrum is because it combines the chainmail of the Unyielding Favor Vest and the White Wolf Grips into one cohesive color because 
Unfortunately, White Wolf Grips and Unyielding Favor Vest, the chainmail on both of these take the like different colors. So if you guys don't know, White Wolf Grips has chainmail on these shoulders, which is really cool because it looks like you're you actually have a chain chainmail shirt, which is why I combine it with the Unyielding Favor. It just looks amazing. So the problem is that it doesn't t take the same color. So that's why I'm using Dreaming Spectrum. Although there is some shaders you could be using, like more specifically, you can use the one from Grasp of Avarice when you, uh, uh, not solo, but flawless it. Um, that one will combine it into one whole, whole color as well. That's actually the shader I had before Dreaming Spectrum, but I liked um, Dreaming Spectrum a little bit more just because it popped a little bit more. That being said, my main annoyance is the fact that I just wish we can take the cloak off specifically for every deeds iron cloak i would have loved if we could actually take off the cloak and not just take it off like completely like make it invisible but i mean like actually have the hood down and have the texture for it down i think that would have been so cool especially for this look because it would have made my hunter look like like my like like an iron lord mad like like a pissed iron lord like all right i'm gonna put in the hood down you're about to get beat that being said, if I really wanted to go for the Iron Lord look, I would switch out the boots for something else because quite frankly, as much as I love the boots, they don't give off that Iron Lord look. So if you really wanted to go for the Iron Lord look, just switch out the boots for something else and you'd be golden. And then for the last ornament that we got for this season, it's called the Digital Variants for the Star Eater Scales. So I have like a love-hate relationship with Star Eater Scales. Uh, when it first came out, I thought it was really fun. I still to this day hold that I really hate that you have to like work to get that damage bonus when Titans have it for free and they get an overshield. That being said, I understand people's like counterpoints where it's like, oh, well, you know, it's class agnostic agnostic. So you can use it for pretty much anything, even though most people will only use it for solar blade barrage at one point, golden gun and then um the new arc super so i'm just like only for three subclasses technically two now because we don't do it for for um for the goldie anymore golden shot and it's only for two subclasses and even then like i would much rather it for for it to be like a one single class specific thing so that way we can get another cool bonus like maybe for blade barrage it gives you a little bit more blades or the blades give you a double explosion or if it's for arc then maybe have double impact damage or something because at this point or just give us both of those that would be really cool that being said i yeah i just do i use them yes unfortunately but it's more of just like i don't want to take like i don't want to be i don't i don't want to be not 18 player i guess because my my climates are always like oh we want to finish the the raid as fast as possible this is going to help us get that more damage out there so i just have a love hate relationship with star eater scales that being said this ornament absolutely fire i think it's better than the other ornament that it got the first one the like stone one i as much as i like that one this one is just amazing as for how it shaders shaders amazingly as well my only i guess gripe you could say is that i wish that it 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 like held that texture on the actual like legs and pretty much everywhere that like not hive that uh that vex like network look i wish it kept that texture because it doesn't keep the texture when you shader it it actually takes it away which i think is an l um that being said i always go back to this point i really wish bungie gave us just the option to have that texture there or not like like what if they had an option where for a specific shader there already is a texture there give us an option to actually turn it off and put that texture there or turn it on so that way it overrides the texture that is in the shader i feel like player choice like that would always be important and oh i will always advocate for it but honestly even with that problem aside I still think it's a dub of a shade or a dub of an ornament. That being said, the two red dots on the sides don't change color, unfortunately. But at the same time, you're going to go for a Vex theme for this. And if you don't, you're going to go for like an electrical look. So the red dots really don't bother me that much as as much as they should. But again, it's also one of those like I'm going to use a Vex theme set for this, which is why I'm not going to get mad personally. But I will not blame you for not liking the red dots. As for the example set, I ended up going for a Vex look, obviously, but this one is a little different because we're using the Eternal Vengeance vest and the Eternal Vengeance cloak, even though it's using the Psionic Stalker cloak in this one, which is 
inaccurate because that's obviously not true but yeah eternal vengeance vest and eternal vengeance cloak because honestly the spikes i feel like give this set a little bit more like not evilness but it looks a lot better especially when you see not this it's not a spike on the arms but it kind of looks like that uh for the arms phenotype plasticity grips for the helmet prime zealot mask for that's that's actually it <laughs> for the extra spot uh, for the extra <clears throat> that's actually it for the extra pieces i will say it's really rough because i think the prime zealot like uh, like armor set is pretty terrible aside from the helmet the helmet's the best piece from that whole set i'm gonna be honest with you guys um phenotype plasticity arms i think was the best choice i could make because i wanted to keep the eternal vengeance vest because it it goes so well with the boots bro and i don't know if, it, if anyone's done it yet but i love it um if someone's done it then i'm sorry i did not try to copy you but i this is the one that i made and i should probably mention i don't look at anyone else's fashion like i am a part of crips and muffin bandits uh discords but i rarely ever go on there and like actually go through the sets because i don't want to inadvertently grab someone's set and make it my own that's not what i like to do um i think i've done it once and i've actually not even once i took someone else's set showed their picture and gave them credit for it that's all i did and i think i did it in one video and even then i was like i don't like that because i i, I want to do my own stuff so if you guys ever see me do a set and it looks a lot like someone that you've already seen let me know because most of the time it's just going to be coincidence because again i don't look at anyone else's stuff so and it's going to be really weird because like once i set up the discord and we start like really going through all the fashion with everyone then at that point i will be more inclined to actually post people's fashions because at that point oh man it's going to open up like a bag of worms because like when we get new armor i'm definitely going to ask people like guys give me like a full set of like the, like all of the pieces that you can make a set with and then i'll make my own and then kind of like how crips does it but I, I will actually have my own sets as well like a lot more um not saying that he doesn't do it it's just uh i don't want to continue this talk because i don't want to compare content creators specifically by my from from like compare content creators to me because i only have four four thousand subscribers and i quite frankly don't really feel like i deserve to do like compare myself to it with them so that's why i don't want to do that but that aside i really like this set this set is one of my favorite sets that i've made that being said if and when we ever get the vault of glass like uh age of triumph armor then this set would actually be completely different maybe because i would probably use some of those pieces actually hold on age of triumph armor let me see hold on real quick because i really just need to see this armor one more time to really be like no nothing would change okay here that's not it um here it is yeah no you know what i will say if i were to combine any piece i would say the cloak would probably be the best piece that i would combine it with other than that i don't think it would change much just because the arms are symmetrical um, the chest piece, although cool, I think the Eternal Vengeance looks way better with digital variants. Just because, I don't know if I mentioned it, but not only is the texture of the stomach really close to the texture of the crotch, but it also has that white line, which I think is so cool. And the main reason why I combine it with Eternal Vengeance. So let me know what you guys think. Like, let me know if you guys appreciate some of these sets. Cause I definitely really do. Um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.